Hey friends, my name is Rob and I'm a part of the team that's helping to plant and launch Living Branch Church later this year. Hey, hopefully you didn't click on this uh, video expecting to see some sort of big live church service uh, because we're a few months away from that. However, if you're willing, I'd love to just give you two to three minutes of something that I hope will encourage your heart as we are all collectively walking through some of the most unusual and challenging days that any of us have ever experienced. In the Bible, in Matthew chapter 10, there's a story told of Jesus walking through Jericho. And the scene is chaotic, it's noisy, there's people everywhere. And we see in this story, in the midst of all this chaos, a blind beggar named Bartimaeus. I just imagine that not only both in this scene, but also in this culture, Bartimaeus would have been a social outcast, somebody who was constantly ignored and forgotten and just kind of pushed to the margin of society. But Bartimaeus was desperate for healing. And so in this very chaotic scene, he cries out to Jesus to have mercy on him. Now just think for a moment how easy it would have been for Jesus to just completely ignore him or maybe even pretend like he didn't hear him and just continue on with his business. And yet the story tells us that Jesus stopped. He made a full stop. And of course we wonder like what, what's next? What will he say to this blind beggar? And instead of making a statement to him, he asked him a question. And the question is, what do you want me to do for you? And the answer was probably obvious to Jesus, and maybe even obvious to us, and yet Jesus took the time to ask the question. And of course, if you were to go on and read the rest of the story, you would see that this blind man did in fact regain his sight because of this desperate cry to Jesus. I can't help but wonder if somebody watching this video this morning doesn't feel a little bit like Bartimaeus did in this scene. It's noisy, it's chaotic, everything around you feels scary, feels uncertain, and yet you, are, you have a desperate need. Let me encourage you to be bold and to cry out to Jesus. I promise you that he hears you and that he sees you and that his question to you today is the same question it was to Bartimaeus. What do you need me to do for you? Take your need to Jesus today, friend. He's ready to receive it. Have a blessed Sunday, and we'll talk to you again soon.